Hey, man, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? What the fuck you care where I'm from? Just like to know any motherfucker who barged into my house. Sucks to be you. Not finding out from me. Right. Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? Miss Dielshevsky? She here? No one by that name is employed here. No. Misty worked here two years back. Gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I'd never met the previous owner. What is this? <laughs> the chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. I'm not asking about that. Esoterica shop. That's what this was. Well, apparently, not anymore it isn't. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Vic, so good to see you, old Ripper. V, how long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. <laughs> You're making a habit of this, rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Come on, gonna make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. But well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone versus Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Damn. Feels like another life. Yeah. Good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So is Misty Shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. So... Misty, what happened? She, uh, moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. So, no drinking after all? Relax, we'll raise a toast. Let me fix you first. What you actually aim to do. We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax. This'll take a moment. Really think this could work? Rather avoid any false hopes. You'll be fine. Trust me. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? Ain't easy. Can't call it all bad. I'm back. 
Definitely. Finally managed it. A hard-won victory's still a win. And you? Feeling like a winner these days, Vic? What are you trying to say, exactly? Your clinic. What happened? Seems... colder somehow. Less... cozy. I don't suppose you're talking about the new AC. You know what I mean, Vic. What can I tell you? Corporate standards, guidelines, recommendations, you match them. End of story. But I dare say I managed to retain a smidge of individuality. This SATA tech thing, how'd you wind up caught in their web? There was pressure, some threats even. Uh, resisting change seemed senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. Tried to buy you out before, right? You always said no. What changed? I just got tired, V. The tide's strong, so strong, I just can't resist it anymore. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. That's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes on pleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. I no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. <laughs> Funny. I was terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, should have feared the passing of of all the things I knew. <laughs> Can't imagine how Johnny felt waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, <laughs> sensible as ever, and with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. say I like that, hmm. First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that'd... Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life-threatening Said you can do something, Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. Please don't worry, Vic. Didn't come with high hopes anyway. Not good. You have to believe there's something out there for you. Self-delusion? That's what you advise? No. I just want you to accept your reality. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt too. Still doing what I most love though. Should I start aiming lower too? Could be the key to happiness. It's not easy settling. With time though, you realize you no longer remember why you wanted it any other way. Oh. <laughs> what if I want to remember? Wish I knew what to tell you, kid. Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m 
Ah, uh, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Tyler, please. Vector, nothing personal, you know? But you sew me up now, or I'll file a complaint. You got a patient, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Guess you landed in some kind of shitstorm. What can I tell you? Petrochem Cox fucked us. Believe I told you your numbers were low. They grabbed the better position. Pure fluke. I got it. Can't even tell where. But where you Well, well. See that, Jimmy? He a corpo rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just walked out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. Fuck off. I can play that game. Booyah! V? You... What happened to you? Uh, Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? What are you even doing here? I heard you moved out, and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? Honestly... feel fucking hopeless. Just got thrashed by two lame-ass thugs. But why didn't you defend yourself? Couldn't. I... Long story. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Don't seem surprised by any of this. Last two years have been... intense. Not a lot of things surprise me anymore. Look at you. Nah. Not a lot of luck in my life. Jeez. You're welcome. <laughs> so damn nice. I actually feel better already. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass too. As all things. Probably got it right. Just darn hard to believe right this second. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Huh. <laughs> that your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Come by to see Victor before leaving? V? 
Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you'd... Um, parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. Where are you going? Orbital Air Terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Setting out to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city. And the crowds. Man. Of all people. Never thought I'd see you leave in Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Me going off the grid? Pretty awkward, but I gotta say no. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Nothing lasts forever. Gonna recover your peace of mind, Misty. Probably. Then I'll lose it again, recover it. But most likely, it'll always be different. A piece built on something new. Misty... Can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not, you always have something smart to say. Hmm... I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. <sighs> Doesn't matter. My life's like I was a minute ago. <sighs> Flat on its ass. Like it was when you came back from Atlanta? Like after Compeki? Like it probably will be again? You might see this as odd or extraordinary. But life's about changes. Unwelcome ones, too. Know what? I think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... To know, I'll be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Their world, V. Remember that. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. Might actually find the new me. Somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it. Think you'll be back ever? Depends. I'd rather not plan too far ahead. So probably not. Yeah, no. I don't think so. Again, I guess.
hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? Huh. I must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. beat the biochip, and in a manner of speaking, Johnny. <laughs> Love to throw us for a loop, don't you, kid? The word is it cost you rather dearly. Sorry to hear that. Truly. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong. Door's always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend? Well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City. And in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu, his allies. We tried to capture Arasaka Tower. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap. Where I found you, I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, V. Hey, v. I wouldn't mind knowing how you manage it. Langley awaits if you need a place to land. Don't look at it as a consolation or compensation. You'll be doing me a favor, not the other way around. Truthfully, I let you down. I let so me down too. But you, I can still help. Maybe I'll stop feeling so damn... Ah, just drop me a line, will you? Hey, v, it didn't quite work out. Uh, on last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic, sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> A new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say, some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You 
think you'd be up for that? <laughs> 